Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video I thought I would share how you can vote for block producers on EOS. Because if you didn't know already, EOS uses what is called delegated proof of stake. Meaning that all of us EOS holders, we need to vote for which of the block producers should become one of the 21 block producers in EOS producing and validating blocks and transactions. And EOS is just about to launch. The block producers are, as I'm making this video, sitting down and trying to launch the main net. So we aren't, we aren't able to vote for block producers on the main yet as of now, but I thought I would show you how you can use some tools that are available right now so that you are ready to vote once the main net goes live and we're going to select the block producers. First of all, just wanted to say if you want to learn EOS, if you want to learn smart contract programming, we have a course on that, which is linked in the description uh, where you can learn smart contract development, including EOS. But if we're going to begin here, we're going to use the scatter tool. And this is a great tool uh, to use with EOS. And I haven't been involved at all with scatter. They, uh, it's, a, it's a great service and props to the scatter people for putting it together. But we're going to use Scatter, which is sort of like MetaMask, but for EOS. So it's a Chrome or Firefox extension that you have in your browser and where you have all of your keys. So you want to go to get-scatter.com. And here you want to uh, click the uh, either get Chrome extension or get Firefox extension. I would highly recommend you that you do the Chrome extension since there is uh, a higher risk of getting a fraudulent copy of the Scatter uh, plugin if you do it on Firefox and you will understand that later, but I would suggest you to use Chrome You click get Chrome extension and you will be sent to the Chrome store And before you add the the plugin here, you should also go to eosportal.io, which is where we will actually vote and over here you want to click on help and scroll down to uh, click here setting up scatter and you want to copy this ID here Copy this ID and then go back to the Chrome store and make sure that this ID here is the same. So you can paste in that ID that we got from uh, EOS portal and then hit enter. And this is just to make sure that we actually have the right scatter version so we don't get any uh, fraudulent copy that will try to steal your key, steal your identity. So make sure that that ID is uh, present up here. Then you can add it to Chrome, mine is already added, so you will have a button here that says add to Chrome or whatever. You can, uh, once that is installed, you can exit this. And if you want to be sure once again, you can go to uh, more tools and then extensions here. And then hit info here on scattering. You can check so that this ID correlates with the ID here as well. So that you are 100% sure before you enter your keys that scatter is the original version of scatter and not some uh, some copy and this is what you will be greeted with the first time uh, if you're doing this for the first time you should enter a password here and then create a new scatter after that you will get your backup phrase which you should uh, write down wherever you feel is safe so let's enter our password here click create new scatter and then you should write down your mnemonic phrase, put it down so that you can um, back it up. Once we're here, we're going to go ahead and add a key pair. So you're going to uh, click new and then add your key pair here. So I'm going to mention name mine, uh, Philip, and then I'm going to fill in my private key here, which I'm not going to show you guys. And then I'm going to click save. It will automatically generate my public key. You can also click generate key pair, but that's not really going to do much for you because uh, you won't have any EOS tokens on that uh, key. But if you just want to try the tool out, you can do that. But otherwise, fill in a private key where you have your actual uh, tokens. Once you have added your key pair here and you have it here in Scatter, we can go back to the EOSIO portal and go back to the home page and refresh it if you had it open before. And here you will see the current chains that are live. And as of now, these are only test nets. So no main, yet ha main net has yet uh, been released. 
I don't know what the status is going to be when you watch this video, but uh, select the network which has your uh, favorite producers in them. I'm going to choose the one with most producers, which is this one. And when we get here, we're going to click this uh, use chain button in order to add this, uh, this network into our scatter. So click accept here, and then we want to go back into scatter. We want to click on identities and then add it, add, edit this identity, which is already here, which has our imported network uh, already added here. So we're going to use the second drop down to select our Philip account, which is, no, sorry, not the Philip account, the key pair that I named Philip and hit import. And here we'll get to choose which account we want to use. And I only have one EOS account associated with my key. And I only get to choose between the active and the owner permission here. And you should almost at all cases use the active permission. So go ahead and select that and then click use selected accounts, hit save. And then we can go back to EOS portal once again, click pair scatter in order to pair this with our identity. So select the identity we want to use, hit accept. And now my previous votes will be uh, highlighted here and I can change them here anytime. So I can remove votes, uh, I can add votes. And uh, these I've just selected at random. I do not endorse any of these except for, of course, my friends over at EOS Sweden. They're good friends of mine and they're really good guys. But as I said, this is just a test net. This has nothing to do with the real uh, EOS network that is going to launch. But when you have selected the ones you want to vote for, there are a lot. You, uh, you click this vote for selected producers and you will get this scatter window open up again with a signature request for this transaction. And then you can hit accept here in order to send it. You can also check this uh, whitelist box in order to, if you do this once again, if you click vote next time, you, shouldn't, you, you don't want to get this um, confirmation window next time. So you will remember your, uh, your action here. But I'm going to click accept and it says voting successful. And that means that I have cast my vote for the block producers of EOS, at least for this network. Uh, now you know how it's done. And if you are an EOS holder, uh, then I would highly suggest that you use your EOS tokens to vote for the block producers, since it is in our best interest to have the best block producers in the network. And now you're ready to do this once the mainnet goes live. So I hope you take this opportunity to try it out to have everything ready once the mainnet launches. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I would love to chat with you guys over there. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more EOS content, for more programming content, for more blockchain content overall. And don't forget to leave a like as well. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, guys.